Good morning, All Stars. Today is Wednesday, and today's read aloud is What Do You Do When Something Wants to Eat You? by Stephen Jenkins. By Steve Jenkins. Most animals face the constant danger of being eaten by other animals. This book shows a few of the ways that they try to avoid this fate. You know what fate means? If not, look it up. When an octopus is threatened, oops, what does it do? Do y'all know? <coughs> it squirts a thick cloud of black ink into the water, confusing its attacker. The bombardier beetle, here it is, defends itself by shooting a mixture of hot chemicals from its rear end into the face of an attacker. It can shoot up to 500 times in one second. Whoa. It can shoot up to 500 times in one second. That's a lot. If a puffer fish is in danger, what does it do? Puffs. It takes in water and swells up like a prickly balloon, making itself almost impossible to swallow. The glass snake is, a, is really a lizard without legs. When it, gets, when it is grabbed by the tail, its tail breaks into many small wriggly pieces. The, the pangolin protects itself. I've <coughs> never heard of a pangolin, but here he is. Protect itself by rolling into an armor-plated ball. The basilisk lizard is known in South America as the Jesus Christ lizard. It can escape its enemies by running across the surface of ponds, oh, and streams, so it kind of <coughs> walks on water, what? using its large feet and great speed to keep it from sinking into the water. When it feels threatened, when it feels threatened, the hog-nosed snake rolls into its back, sticks out its tongue, and plays dead. Oh, it sounds like a scaredy squirrel. This is a good defense because many predators prefer to kill their own food. The brightly colored clownfish escapes danger. I didn't know clownfish could escape danger. By hiding in the poisonous tentacles of the sea anemone. The clownfish is immune to the poison, but any predator who follows in, who, who follows is badly stung or killed. The hoverfly is a harmless insect without a sting, but it can protect itself from predators by mimicking the appearance of a wasp. The gliding frog lives in trees in the forest of Asia. It can escape predators by using its large web feet to glide as far as 50 feet to reach another tree. Wow. When it spreads its wings to fly, the silk moth reveals two large spots that look like eyes on its wings. These can startle an attacker and give the silk moth time to escape. The Javanese leaf insect looks almost exactly like a real leaf. This makes it very difficult for its enemies to see. The flying fish escapes danger by, you see the ellipsis, that means by, it's gonna continue on the other page. The flying fish escapes danger by, Leaping from the water, spreading its wing-like fins, and gliding as far as a thousand feet. Wow. The blue tongue skink startles attackers by sticking out its large, bright blue tongue and wiggling it from side to side. What do you do if something wanted to, what would you do if something wanted to eat you? I hope you enjoyed today's read aloud. Thank you.
My name is Ayla Rodriguez and I'm from Music Cantos class. Good morning, my name is Camila Chevrote and I'm from Music Cantos class. Good morning, no stars. My name is Vita Abuelo. I'm from Mrs. Cantos class. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. As a student at Gonzales Elementary, I pledge to be a thinker and a doer. I will care for others as a friend. I will make decisions that are healthy for my mind and body. I will try my best in all I do. I believe I can learn. I can learn. I will learn. If it's going to be, it's up to me, Gonzales Upstairs number one. Please remain standing for the brief moment silence. Good Wednesday morning, All Stars. Today is Wednesday, January 19th, 2022, and Ms. Megan has some announcements for us. Megan? Good morning, Gonzalez All Stars. Today I'll be leading you through your daily announcements. For today's lunch, we have cheeseburger or meatball sub, marinara sauce, sweet potato waffle fries, veggie sticks, fruit cocktail, or seasonal fresh fruit. The weather is 63 degrees, feels like 63. The high is 83. It is hazy. Today's low is 58 degrees. The humidity is 96%. There will, today there will be a little bit of moisture in it. The chance of rain is 0% and tonight's moon will be a full moon. This is an example of a full moon. For today's birthday, we have my birthday. <laughs> Yay, happy birthday, Megan! Hola! Yeah. It's your birthday, we're here to party and sing to you. It's from me! Hope you are bueno, the fun will rain, the whole day through. From the Gulf to the mountains, the city lights and fountains, we hope your birthday's excellent. So perhaps you should be generally awesome. Cause today is your day. Hola. You deserve a grand fiesta. And later on siesta. And the best of everything. Habit two, begin with the end in mind. I ha have a plan. I plan ahead and set goals for myself. I am prepared at all times. I think about how the choices I make will affect my future. I think about the positive or negative consequences of my actions before I act. Reminders. Um. On Friday, we will be having a fire drill. The time will be unknown. Unannounced. 
unannounced. And also for Saturday, the science fair will be postponed. For next week, progress report grades are due teachers on Monday. And also, third grade will be hosting a dress up on the 26th for $1. And lastly, on the 27th, progress reports will go be going on. Also, tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be really cold, but boys and girls, you're going to be inside the building, so you will have to come to school. The three W's. Wear a mask, wash your hands, and watch your distance. Uh. <laughs> um, for co tomorrow is college coordinate. Bring in your coordinate and you are allowed to wear jeans. These quarters go to graduating seniors for their college scholarships. <coughs> that is all for me. Now back to Ms. Garcia. Thank you, Megan. So just a reminder to boys and girls to be using the uh, one way at the doors. We have a lot of you still coming in the wrong way. Look at the signs at the top. There's a green sign for the right way. And if you're going the wrong way, you're tending to bump into each other. So let's go ahead and follow traffic flow. That also helps us watch our distance, which is really important. And Ms. Megan had a good um, announcement. Boys and girls, it is gonna be really, really cold tomorrow. So. We're gonna be in the building all day though, okay? So it's not really, really cold in the building. So go ahead and come to school. Um, you'll be in a nice warm building all day. So go ahead and come in. Just a reminder to our third through fifth grade teachers, we need to continue with our with our meeting today to continue going over TELPAS and um, testing support designations or whatever Mrs. Garza didn't finish yesterday. So just a reminder, third, fourth and fifth grade teachers, we need to finish up our training today and um, teachers, we do have the paper sign-ins. Um, Elisa put them in three separate places so that we don't have a lot of crowding. So just make sure once you know where your name is, you'll be signing in in that area every day. So just a reminder, we do have paper sign-in already. Those are all the announcements for today. Have a wacky Wednesday. Uh oh, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 what day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? It's hump day. Woohoo! Ronnie, how happy are folks who save hundreds of dollars switching to Geico? I'd say happier than a camel on Wednesday. Hump day! Get happy. Yeah. Get Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more.